Hey, it's Rachel, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys about pirate ship. Now, if you ship anything to your customers and you do not know about pirate ship, you need to watch this video. So, this is a huge tool that I use when sending um, anything that my customers have ordered, and it's just going to save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and it just makes sense to do it because if you're shipping things anyway, you might as well make the most of your time and money. So. This is the website. It's literally just www.pirateship.com. When you come on, you can create a free account. Now, the great thing about Pirate Ship versus other services is with Pirate Ship, you don't pay like a monthly fee to use it. The only thing that you're paying for is your postage, which if you go to the post office, you're paying for anyway. And Pirate Ship gives you discounts that are cheaper than what you'd get at the post office. So all you need to set up your account is an email address and a password. You're going to put your um, address information and then you can create the account. So once you have that all set up, and you go to ship your first package, then it will ask you um, for your payment information. And I just save my credit card in there and I have them just charge it every single time that I ship out an order. So it automatically saves it in there, just saves a little bit of time. But once you have your account, it's super easy to log right in. And I always have my info saved. So, and it's funny because they talk in pirate language if you ever like call their or message their customer support. So click this login. And it's going to, these are all the people that I've shipped to. So to ship, you're just going to click right here or you can click create a single label. Um, if you were shipping to, let's say you had like a list that you were sending out samples to and you had all of the names and addresses in an Excel sheet, you could upload a whole spreadsheet. And I don't really have one to send right now, but it would come up here and you could click that, my wedding playlist, if I click that, it could upload, um, the names and then the address as long as it's properly formatted like number, street, city, state, zip code, all of that good stuff, it will import everything all at the same time. So it'll have all of your labels ready to go. Now if you just want to create a single label, it'll automatically have your info saved here from where it's going to ship from. And let's just see, I don't know if I can ship to myself. We'll test it out. So. If I was shipping to my address, there we go. So that's my info. Where it's shipping from, that's just my default information. And then the type of packaging. So I always either use an envelope or a box. If my products can fit in the envelope, then that's ideal because it's probably going to be cheaper. It just weighs less to use a padded envelope. And um, so you're going to choose which one of those you're going to use. You put in the dimensions. So my smallest package is a 9 by 7. And then you're going to put how much it weighs in pounds and ounces. So when using Pirate Ship, there's a few supplies that you want to have. The first is a food scale. Now, some people have food scales. If you don't, you can buy them for like 10 or 15 bucks at like, I think I actually got mine at Kohl's, but you can get them at Walmart or like any store like that. So they don't have to be super expensive. Um, just get a food scale. I know a bunch of different companies actually sell like a specific like shipping scale and they charge like $100 for them. So definitely just get the cheaper food scale. It doesn't have to be big. Mine's like probably like nine by seven inches. So it doesn't have to be huge. Now, my general rule of thumb for shipping products with Mary Kay, we have our customer delivery service. So that shipping is a flat rate of $6.95. So I'm not going to mail anything that weighs more than one pound because with the fees for shipping packages, which it'll get go to the rates here in a minute, but if your package weighs more than one pound, it's going to cost more than $6.95 to ship. So if I'm shipping something like a satin hand set, usually microdermabrasion or any of our skincare sets, or if somebody just ordered multiple items and they kind of, they weigh up over one pound, 
then I'm going to use Mary Kay's customer delivery service, which is going to ship the products directly from Mary Kay to the customer. So that's going to save you the time of shipping it out, and it's going to save you money with the shipping. So I only use the customer delivery service if it's something that I don't have in stock and they need the product right away, or the total order weighs more than one pound and I have to ship it. If they're local, then I can just deliver it. But for shipping, as long as it's under a pound, I use Pirate Ship. So let's say it was five ounces. That would probably be something like a CC cream or like a satin, not a satin hands, a CC cream, a foundation of any sort, something small like that. So, okay, let's say it's five ounces. There's some extra features that you can add. You can require signature confirmation. Um, I don't do any of those. So then you're gonna get your rates. And here is the price. So it's $3.18. If you click this drop down, it gives you different options. Um, but usually the first class, whatever they list first is gonna be your cheapest. So I'll do the first class. And today's ship date. And then that's how much it's going to charge. So it'll automatically charge it out of my account. I'm not going to click buy label because I don't actually need that. Um, but really all you would do is once you click buy label, it's going to pull the label up. Let me see if I can just open up one of my previous labels. Okay. Well, I don't want to like put people's information out there, so I won't do that. But basically, the label is going to be um, a little, mine, I have it set, so it's a half sheet of paper. Um, and I bought labels on Amazon. That's the cheapest way to do it. If you don't want to buy, like I just did that because I was kind of lazy and just wanted to stick them on the package. If you just have regular printer paper and you want to do it that way, it will print on half of the sheet and then you just cut it out and tape it to your package. But since I was shipping out a high volume, it just made sense for me to buy the labels. So you can do that either way. But once you have the label created, you can download it straight to your computer and just click print and it's going to print it out for you. Stick it on your package and then you're ready to go. So it's a super easy process. It's not only going to save you time because you're not having to go to the post office, but it also saves you money because you're getting the cheapest discounts cheaper than they're going to give you at the post office. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if there are any questions about how to use Pirate Ship. Um, but it's just a huge tool if you are planning on shipping products to your customers. It's going to save you tons of time and money. So hope this was helpful.